On September 1st of this year, the CDC authorized a new COVID-19 vaccine for use as a booster in those 12 and above. This vaccine is a bivalent vaccine. And what that means is it contains part of the original vaccine. So half of the dose will be comprised of the original vaccine. The other half of the dose is a specific vaccine that was developed to target the BA4 and BA5 variant. One is made by Pfizer. That Pfizer vaccine is authorized for those 12 years of age and older as a booster dose in order to qualify, you must have completed your primary series with the original monovalent vaccine and at least two months from the last vaccine dose that you've received, whether that be the primary series vaccine or a prior booster. So again, Pfizer, 12 years of age and older. For Moderna, which is the other bivalent vaccine that was authorized by the CDC in early September, the same holds true, but it's 18 years of age and above. So again, 18 years of age and older, if you've completed your primary series and you're at least two months past your last vaccine dose received, you're eligible to get this bivalent booster. Some of you may be wondering, what about those that are under the age of 12? Because we do know that there are boosters available for those five to 11 from Pfizer at this point. The CDC and the FDA are both continuing to evaluate information and they do anticipate perhaps before the, you know, the height of the flu season, perhaps before the holidays, that we may see an approval, at least for those five to 11 of the Pfizer vaccine to move forward with a bivalent booster. So stay tuned. If you've got children in that age group, there's more than likely gonna be additional information coming later this fall. Some of you may wonder, what if I've already had either one or two boosters of the monovalent vaccine? Well, first of all, the monovalent vaccine, when this new bivalent was approved, can no longer be used as a booster. But if you've had prior booster doses, whether that's one booster dose or whether that's two booster doses, you still qualify for this new bivalent booster as long as the most recent booster dose that you received was at least two months ago. As we're coming into the flu season, it's an opportune time to consider getting the bivalent booster along with your flu vaccine. The vaccines are arriving um, starting this week in localities in Hampton Roads, including Riverside. The vaccine can be scheduled through the typical vaccine scheduling process that's been used with prior vaccines. For Riverside, we will have the bivalent boosters available in selected medical group practices, as well as through upcoming community health clinics. And for our employees, it'll be offered through our employee health locations.